good effort by our group. You know, I think a lot of guys played well. I thought the bench was really good for us. Um, and I think the first half, it was kind of a little bit back and forth. We had some cushion, and they threw a bunch to start the third quarter. It was good to see us kind of take that and then, you know, um, extend it. You know, Tiago and Al there for a while. Got us a little six or eight point lead, and then we kind of finished the third quarter well, and, and we're able to finish it in the fourth. So, you know, a lot of different guys played well, a little different combinations tonight. So it's good to see, uh, you know, different guys uh, in a little bit different situations uh, play well. Good, good to see Tim, Tim just come up tonight and play real well tonight. You said he's been working real hard. Talk about how good he's been playing since you got the core, got the B League. You know, he's doing good for you guys now. Yeah, no, Tim, uh, and I think we were saying it, you know, the work he was doing behind the scenes, including going to the D League, you know, I think uh, it, it's it's an opportunity to develop our players that we believe strongly in. Um, you know, we have Eddie and Lamar playing in the D League right now, and I think that puts them in the best position to to be ready when their when their numbers called. And you know, since he's uh, got to play the last three, four, five games, whatever it's been, I think he's been very good. His activity defensively, his effort to get through screens, and all those things have been good. And then you know, he's just letting it come to him on offense. I think he's got. You know, an ability to get to the rim and get to the paint, and make shots. So, um, and I think he's passing the ball well too. So, I mean, just overall, um, you know, pleased with all the work that he put in to get to here. And I think he's reaping the benefits of that work now. You went to Tiago early in the third quarter when it was a close game. What were you looking for in that moment? Well, Paul, you know, had uh, three fouls coming out of halftime. Paul had foul trouble last night. Um, so, you know, it was a little bit of maybe just trying to beat, beat uh, you know, the foul situation and maybe just give Paul two or three minutes. You know, he hadn't picked up a fourth, obviously, and just give him a break, you know, let Tiago guard uh, uh, Lopez. And, you know, Al, I think, enjoys the challenge of guarding power forwards and Al so versatile he can guard different guys. It was just a little bit of buying time for Paul. Mike, after the struggles the last two nights, was it good to see you lock down halfway through that third quarter and really take control and set a pace for the rest of the game? Yeah, no, I think uh, there were a lot of positives, and including you know, they've you know they've they've played teams well lately, and um, they've battled, and you know you watch some of the scores, and uh, they're they're there for a long time, and maybe including all the way through the game, and you know they threw, like I said, they came out the third quarter, and we took it, and, and that group, uh, you know, kind of brought us home to end the third quarter, including when Paul went back in. So yeah, it was good to see. Are you getting what you want out of the transition defense? Is it good to have two points? Yeah, no, I, I do think there's subtle things when we go back and review film that it's getting better. Um, you know, I think Brooklyn's a team that probably plays a little more in the half court, and um, you know, wants to kind of pound it inside with Lopez and Joe Johnson as a post up guard, but. And any time we can only have two points in, in uh, transition, that's a good thing. Mike, is a like, halfway point of the season. Obviously, y'all aren't quite where you were a year ago. Anything particular, you know, really particular you're looking forward to? You know, you're disappointed where you are right now. What are you looking forward to to kind of turn around in the second half of the season? Well, I mean, I think just we, you know, the word that I think's probably been coming up is a little inconsistency or, or lack of consistency. Uh, we'd like to be better. Um, and you know, I think we've shown at times uh, that we can be a very good team, but I think the team that does it the most often, whether it be within a game for 48 minutes or game to game and week to week and month to month, those are the teams that kind of emerge through the season. And um, the East is better, and so you know, I think nobody is, uh, you know, Cleveland's got a little separation and the rest of us are all in a pack. And we keep talking about wanting to be that team that can separate from that pack. Beyond the East being better, do you have any other theories why consistency has been so hard to find? Why focus can vacillate so much from one game to the next, especially against these sub-500 teams? No, you know I think we, you know we're uh, we're working on it. I think I think the guys are working hard in practice, and um, you know, I think we just we'd all like to be better. But if we knew the answer, if it was like in a pill or something, we'd take it. <laughs> so I'll buy a share. Yeah, I think probably all of us would. All right, thanks guys.